what a difference a game makes, especially when it's the game that has given you the title of best team in the world for another 12 months. Real Madrid's spirits have been down these past few weeks. The Wembley defeat by Tottenham hurt and left them second in their Champions League group. That has seen them draw Neymar in Paris Saint Germain in the last 16. In La Liga, they have fallen 11 points behind leaders Barcelona and slipped to fourth in the table. And yet beating Grêmio has put a smile back on everyone's faces. That imposing gold fifth of Club World Cup badge can be worn on the white shirts when they run out against Barca on Saturday, and they can look back on 12 months when, for the first time ever, they managed to win five trophies in one calendar year. It's not just the trophy celebrations last weekend in Abu Dhabi that sent them into Saturday's Christmas Classico believing they can close the gap at the top to eight points. Gareth Bale is back too, and that has Zinedine Zidane convinced his team has what it takes to beat Barcelona. As things stand the plan is not to start Bale.His impact in Abu Dhabi as a substitute in both the semi-final and final was impressive, and there is a feeling at Madrid that his direct running in the last half an hour could be difference between winning a must-win game and coming away with just a point. It will be close, and he could be the difference. Oh, any man who will definitely start is Cristiano Ronaldo. He is another who seems to have a new spring in his step thanks to lifting a trophy. The Ballon d'Or ceremony promised to go for as many as seven of the individual awards seemed to reaffirm a belief that he is far from finished and he has shown it on the pitch. He has now scored. <laughs>